Hey everyone and welcome back to a new episode in Grounded. We are back in a new, new location with a new base build for you guys. Ran into a problem, an issue with the grass keeps on coming back and I know I may get a comment saying, well if you cut down the stumps, the grass won't grow back and I'm cutting down the grass stumps and the grass is still coming back. So with that being said, let's get into today's episode. We'll be showing off the new castle build, maybe showing a little pirate ship I made type thing to transport troops to a battle scene that I threw up really quick just before starting recording this episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Here we are running up to the castle just before we hit the castle up. Ooh, ooh, get out of there, Leaf. Get a good glimpse of the castle with our two giant mushrooms in front of it that I decided to grow which I don't really like anymore, but eh, they kind of look cool from a certain angle. Might put one more right there, but uh, this is the castle I got going on. Before we go into it, let's check out this little house I made. You know, cool little bungalow. I'm thinking of putting the little city-ish area right around here in the growth, which, by the way, we are located just about here, way north and north of the pond and the oak tree. We are just right about here. Our last build was over here and that the grass kept growing back. Same with our castle rash. All the grass is grown back. If you have not seen the last video or two, I can't remember which one I talked about it in, but anyway, going on with the adventure of the castle yet to be named. Here we are at the front gates. I decided to use a little bit of the mushroom uh, walls here just for the front gate just because they don't have any good uh, grass ones. I mean, I could have used these, but they're just one wall. So here is the main corridor area type thing. You got your shops all along here, all different areas of different things you need. Um, your water catchers, dew collectors, I mean. Fire pit for hanging out. You got your central bar in the middle along with fill-up stations and jerky rack stations. Moving on to the first building on the right, as you walk into this beautiful build, you come into the apartment zone, which houses the teens, which has decked out rooms, of course, as usual. Moving on. Now, each room is basically sort of similar, except this one. If you got this room, you get the perk of having your own fireplace inside of the apartments. Which, this is the only room that has that. So I thought that was a pretty cool little addition I put in there. Uh, here's another little apartment, just running through these all quick as possible. And the last apartment right here. So moving on, you got the bar on the left as you walk out. With bartenders, uh, little pet areas right there. And right here. This tower right here, sorry for the quick movements, this tower right here brings you up to the top and the catwalk leads you all the way over. Along that way, up that roof, over, down, 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 down. Moving on, um, this leads you straight up to that tower. Moving on past the filling stations, we are walking into the main hall. This is where all the business and dinners and stuff are done, I guess. You could say a uh, kitchen area right here with another kitchen area right there. Right there, right there, we'll get a better look at that. Um, main hall, get a quick little glimpse, there you go. With the grand staircase leading up to the main throne room, which I mean throne, throne room as in bedroom. And I decided to do this where you can clip in the chest to make some sort of little end table, I guess, added the bees. Love those bees. I can't wait to see that what other stuffed critters they add into this game. So this is the bedroom. You got your little wardrobe area with your weapons and stuff, seating areas, all that good stuff. Oop, you're supposed to be over here, Budro, aren't you? Boop. There is the leader of this little town speaking to the people at the bar. <laughs> Go home, you're being too loud. All right, moving on. I guess we'll show you the Ooh, the rear entrance, which soon eventually I'm thinking of putting a dock slash fishing little hut down here somewhere. Oh, hey, look, there is our pirate ship. A little quick 
glimpse of that. Moving back into the gated zone. Coming over here, we're going to go up this winding staircase, so do the old little trick. Both left and right. You got your archers up here, little archer shack that I did not fill in, but there will be bows and stuff up there. I guess you could just think of it that way. Um, this is what I was talking about. The catwalk leads all the way over there to that zone. Didn't really know what to put up on this roof, so that's why I threw that little shed up there with the archers. Each tower has its own entrance, so if you needed it. That's it for the castle. Moving on, we're going to show you a little glimpse of my little dinky little battleship, pirate ship. I don't know what we want to call it. Over here in the water. I literally put this up in like five minutes. I'm just going to see like how quick I can get a little ship up. I think I need to force scale, make it a lot bigger. <laughs> Just looking at this, the thing makes me laugh, and guess what? There's no way to get into it, so... Didn't really think of it that far. Uh, I did kind of like the sail, though. Um, that you can do with the new pillars. If I can get up there. Hey, hold on. So, as you can see, I used the pillars for the sails. Just really need to make this ship to scale, so I need to make it a lot bigger to make it look less dinky. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Over that way is where we have the battle, but we're going to save that for the fly through portion of the video. All right, and this is the castle from the pond. And I really haven't checked it out from this angle. It looks pretty cool. You got three towers.
that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.